hey what's up you guys so today i'm doing another pocket pop video as you can see um in my last pocket pop video i did i cut off those like back tabs for hanging the funko pops um, i was digging around for some different ways that i could protect the box and that's when i found this on ebay so just like the um pop protectors for regular sized funko pops that you can buy from pretty much anywhere um, these guys make pop protectors for pocket pops and um, so they are called Primo Protect. I actually bought this off of eBay for a very reasonable price um, but this is their other card with all their social media handles there and so this is my first time trying them out. Um, I believe I bought a pack of 10 10 of the uh, pocket pop protectors so their one is right there it comes with this like uh, plastic wrapping on top of it to prevent the actual protector from getting scratched up during shipping or if you're just storing them and not going to use them right away but you can easily just peel that right off I noticed that it's pretty easy if you like squeeze the opposite side corners uh, then the box will just take its shape right then and there and so that's what I'm kind of doing here in this shot, just like getting the box to um, open up so I can put the pocket pop inside. And so the first pocket pop I'm going to try putting in here is a uh, Naruto pocket pop. Um, it was This is one of the newer ones, a Hot Topic exclusive, but it's super easy to put together. Um, I mean, the first couple you might struggle with, but after that, it's super easy. So I'm just putting it in here this way. Um, the back of the protector for me is going to have this little locking mechanism that I've seen like on vaulted vinyl um, plastic pop protectors. They have the same kind of thing for the normal size pop protectors. It's basically the same setup here. I'm going to attempt to set up this plastic pocket pop protector one more time. Uh, this time the plastic peeled off a lot easier for me. Now I'm like pushing the opposing corners to get the box to take its shape. And that's what I figured out later and after doing it the first time. Now that that's all good, I'm going to close it all up. Okay, so there it is right there, the locking tab. This is me just pushing it in and locking it together. Now, I really liked the final result look of this, um, and I think I'm going to be doing this to a lot more of my pops so that I can put them up on the shelf and keep the box looking great. Um, and then there's the other one with the tab still connected. Um, they both look really great in my opinion. It was a really good price uh, for 10 of these protectors. I will definitely be buying more. You should check them out as well if you have Pocket Pops. And then I'm just showing that I'm going to be displaying some of my other Pocket Pops just out of box like Groot here. Um, and that's what he looks like without the keychain. Um, but I will make an update video when I get the shelf set up and put all my little Pocket Pops out on display. Um, but thanks for watching and shout out to uh, Primo Protect. You should check them out on eBay or any of their other social medias. They are really good. Um, but that's it right there, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.